welcome to my channel thank you so much for tuning in if you're new lillian here if you are returning thank you for coming back in today's video we are taking a look at some videos of nigerians on youtube and i would love to start with adeola adeola is a nigerian based in the united states of america she recently posted a video and in that video a lot of people are lining up at the comment section of that video and they were laughing because of course it's Adeola so what do you expect Adeola is rich she's been on YouTube for a very long time and she's from one of the major tribes in Nigeria she lives in America she has a husband so all the things that helps you say things or do things in my country and not be accused of anything wrong not be seen as an unpatriotic Nigerian she has them check 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 all the checks that escapes you from being a accused of things like that because you know how my people are for me i have been you know, i've been trying to understand my people for some time now and this is just a confirmation that i think nigeria may have been like this since forever it's just that there was no social media there was no lot of information there was no means of studying people like we do now these days you can easily take to the internet to do your research about about people countries continents just at the comfort of your home you can understand a whole lot about what you want to know but back in the days things like that were not available so people didn't know the type of people that Nigerians are so every day for us the Gen Z's we feel like oh Nigeria has spoiled but I think we are wrong Nigeria has not spoiled Nigeria has always been what it is like there is no change it's still the same we just feel like it has changed because we are new to all the things we see so when Adeola posted this particular video there's a message in it I would like us to watch it together and then I'll give my opinion on it before we jump to the next video that I want to react to I hope by now you have liked this video okay guys have you seen the newly completed international airport in Arori, nigeria hey opa, 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 opa. this is not one one new i saw it with my koro koro eyes guys i was pleasantly pleased i mean from the beauty of the exterior koda the aesthetics inside the escalators and elevators everything was working guys i love the security check stations it's now moving fast because now they have a lot of stations so and the toilets yes no more shakara from Ghanaians. you can literally now eat your jollof rice inside this toilet i'm leaving the water feature for last guys because i want you to watch the whole thing make sure that you watch the whole video so you can see my jig as in at the water feature honestly i want to thank the nigerian government for finding Finally listening to our cries and building this nice airport in Arori. Tino Dao, you will notice a lot of foreigners, yeah? That's because people are now coming from all over the world to Arori just to experience this airport. In fact, let me stop talking and allow you guys to also enjoy the sights and sounds of the newest international airport in Nigeria. Don't forget to thank the Nigerian government after watching this video. One no wo, one seo. So that's Adeola and why that video made it to this video is because to me it's giving that vibes that Nigerians have started to see things from Ghana that they didn't know of before and they have started to make Ghana the standard. Otherwise, why will Adeola leave South Africa? You know, call South Africa for the video. You know, call uh, which other African country? Kenya. She didn't mention Uganda. Now, Ghana, now she can't talk of no, right? It has always been between Nigerians and Ghanaians when they want to cruise. But in here, Adeola is indirectly telling you something. This airport looks a lot like the Kutukai International Airport in Accra, Ghana. Did you see the similarity? It looks a lot alike and for me if you are a critical thinker you will understand why Adeola will mention Ghana say Ghanaians no more shakara from Ghanaians as we can eat our jello fries even in the toilets if you have been to the Kotoka airport you understand that it is very clean and so many people especially celebrities from Nigeria have 
praised the Kotoka Airport so much. One of them is Omotola and Mo are still doing it. Adiola video simply means that Ghana has been suffocating Nigeria. For me, the message in this video is her simply saying that she's feeling things from Ghana. She can see so many things in Ghana. I mean, she's wishing for them to in Nigeria. Yeah, before you go and tell your mother and father that Lily Ogini does Ghana versus Nigeria content. Watch this video till the end, okay? Mind you, this is not that. Adeola video is a sign that a lot of Nigerians have started seeing things from Ghana and they are wishing for it. They want it. They wish for it. I mean, Nigerians that generally wish Nigeria well, they have seen things and they have started wishing for these things to happen in Nigeria. But a lot of them at the comment section were just laughing. <laughs> laughing because it's Adeola, rich, married, lives in America and very popular from a major tribe. So they don't get the message anyways while i was on youtube i stumbled on another video i don't know how youtube got this video into my nose and forced it down my throat so i decided to click because of the title and there we have it let's take a look at it together and i'll be back to give my opinion to america nigerians are seen as the most respected black race come to europe be in the uk Nigerians are the most respected black race. Go to Asia, Nigerians are the most respected black race. In Africa, we know, in Africa, we know that Nigerians are the most respected black. This is why, in every sector, when a Nigerian is seen, he exempts himself. A Nigerian is so exemplary. In every sector, a Nigerian distincts himself, professionally and otherwise. In every sector, you see the wisdom and intelligence of a Nigerian man. Compared to other black race, especially from Africa, you see the intelligence level is just way off the roof. It's incomparable. Nigerians compared to every other black race, besides those ones I mentioned, those ones born in UK, America and all that, we are the most respected. So let me just take us gradually into sectors that we see if what I'm saying does not cut it. If what I'm saying does not actually make sense. One, Nigerians are great in English speaking more than any other African nation. Nigerians speak this English. Yeah, this English. Nigerians speak this English better than any Anglophone African country. So let's not make it look like we have the French speaking, the Francophone country. So why would you want to see that? Any English speaking country in Africa, let's just compare that. Nigerians are better in English speaking than any of them. Is it the South Africans? We speak English better than South Africans. We speak English better than Ghanaians. We speak English better than Kenyans. We speak English better than all those Anglophone countries in Africa. Why? It's because Nigerians are very intentional to learning whatever they want to learn. If it's speaking English that actually gives them the traction they want in life, Nigerians excel in that. They put their dogged. Nigerians are so dogged. They want to learn it. They want to be best in it. And that's why anywhere you find Nigerians in Africa, they are very, very intellectually sound when they talk to you. This is no doubt. And this is not downplaying any African brother. This is not downplaying. This is just making you guys understand that Nigerians are very good in a, a lot of things. And that's why they are most respected. Wait, you guys. You guys. Did you hear that? <laughs> okay, first. The first point I want to make is reference. I want to reference what he said to what I said earlier about Adeola, right? Adeola lives in America. I told you guys earlier that if you live in America, you're married as a woman, you have money, you are from one of the major tribes, you are always right. You heard this man saying, apart from Nigerians born in the Western countries, according to him, apart from Nigerians born in America, the UK, Canada, and the rest, you heard it. I'm not trying to prove myself whatsoever, but sometimes, sometimes when I say things here, it feels like I'm exaggerating. Oh, how can you say that? That cannot be possible. <laughs> Sure, you heard of a full grown man. I think he have he's looking for side hustle, you know. That they start with side hustle. You want to come on YouTube for side hustle, you want to see if he can make extra money. I understand. Uncle looks like a man who may be paying child support <laughs> from different baby mamas you know what i mean no disrespect sir okay in case you see this video but permit me to argue to disagree with you and i'm going to do so respectfully 
please my viewers what is respect what what do you what is what do you understand by respect is it respect in terms of someone bowing down to greet you or someone treating you right someone trusting you someone welcoming you into their house i mean what is respect i don't understand this man said nigerians are the most respected africans in the world <laughs> is the audacity for me i have suffered so much disrespect in my life both on the internet in case you say oh in ghana mm, yes in ghana too i suffered disrespect tell me what is if this is not it what is that thing that will make you not give me a house when i come to want to rent from you tell me is that not disrespect <laughs> Because you don't trust me. You don't want my wahala around you. If you respect me, you would give me your property to rent. If you respect me, you will believe everything I tell you. If you respect me, you wouldn't want me out of your land. But Nigerians are the only Africans globally that the world do not want to see. Even countries that are kind-hearted like america nobody can tell me nothing i love america from the things not the things i heard about them but my research about them i have seen so many why i say america is kind is because a lot of the privileges that the american government gives to to immigrants you can hardly find it elsewhere america is that one country that you will go to or you'll be born in regardless of the situation that brought your parents to that country maybe your parents are illegal immigrants but once you are born in america your mother gave birth to you even at the airport trying to come down from the plane once you have landed the land the soil of america you are automatically a citizen who does that who does that tell me who any other okay canada yeah Canada, Canada do the same. But permit me to say that America is a very kind country. I have seen people that left Africa with absolute nothing to America and they have walked their ways to have good lives. America kind of have a system that works. Disagree at the comment section. America gives you, even though I see some people complain a lot, oh, the cost of this, because you like it or not, America is a good country. They are kind. We are talking about Chidima, a Nigerian who could not contest for the Miss Universe South Africa because she is not biologically South African. Only in America, you can be that. You can, someone can go to America and nobody will complain about where you are from biologically. So one would tell me that America isn't good. America is a good country and God bless America. Without forgetting the point I'm trying to make, even a country that is kind and welcoming as America still do not like Nigerians. They don't want Nigerians in America. We have talked about this. We have been shamed. We have dealt with all these issues where Nigerians are sent out of these you go to this country they don't want to we have seen we have seen nigerians cry at various airports around the world we have seen the nigerian passport being rejected and yesterday just yesterday someone has the nerves to reach out to me to link him on how to get the ghanaian passport because already the nigerian passport is useless uh, let me leave some screenshots on the on, on the screen as i'm talking all right Please, if you think I am a patriotic Nigerian that is going to help you get things in Ghana done the wrong way, count me out. I am not. <laughs> I am not. I understand why a Nigerian will see my content and still have the mind to come and tell me to help them do things like that. It's simply because, yeah, you know, these accusations flying here and there. Oh, she's doing it for the views. Majority of my people think you are doing something. You have a motive, ulterior motive, why you're doing something. So if you're doing it in public, privately, you are different. For someone to still come and meet me and want me to help him get the Ghanaian passport so he can travel to Dubai. <laughs> because the Nigeria own is useless, according to him. I mean, what is respect if Dubai 
Dubai, okay, fine. Let's leave America. Let's talk about Dubai. Dubai is a city that welcomes everybody, especially those that have some money. For Dubai to say, okay, we want the whole world to come in, but we do not want Nigerians. Then it tells you that they do not have respect for you, uncle. Let me school you, Mr smartest people in the world you aren't that smart after all we are not the most respected people in africa in fact we are the most disrespected and and hated people around the world okay we are exact opposite of what you just said we are and you know before we used to feel like oh nigeria don't spoil not lie my people are basically they have always been like this i mean look at the issue of Boriski coming up and to tell you the truth i have been drained emotionally like at this point there's no hope for nigeria for someone to bring out evidence of a corrupt practice this is supposed to be a major scandal in a country where people have brains that are functioning for someone that person was supposed to go to jail for six months but the, the, the person didn't go to jail they collected some amount of money from the convicts and lodge him in an apartment and the only thing that he didn't have to do during this period was come out or make it known to people so he was chilling he was doing everything all their whatever they used to do they do he's fine the only difference is you must not post on social media so some of the things people were saying about him on social media he could see them so let's say he just he would just use a different whatsapp number so that people won't see you know you kind of thing then he choose who he wants to communicate with something as bad as that at the end of the day because he was telling a friend so because there are people like that in your life that will always um, give you away sometimes they don't intend to do it to you willingly maybe situation just warrant them so Babriski confided in a friend of his about him not being in jail he was never in prison he was just chilling and enjoying life so this audio got leaked <laughs> you think somebody loves you right continue there's somebody now for you to tell someone a secret as deep as that it means you feel the person got your interest but what you don't know is that people interest changes people interest do change you can be their favorite today and tomorrow something come up you are no longer have you thought about that so bob risky former someone that has his interest suddenly decided to leak the audio the conversation they had and this person didn't deny he said i'm the one that exposed you i want to expose you so that my country can work on themselves the corrupt practices in my country is too much and you know the sad part for me nigerians celebrity nigerians coming out to condemn criticize the guy who who wants the right thing to be done in person of very dark man nigerians are working hard working so hard to make sure that this Bob risky matter dies down trust me you next week you won't hear about it again it is gone just like that gone with the wind <laughs> Pew, nobody will hear about it again Robbery risky will come out uh, and um, because there's money we are talking about how much here fifteen thousand dollars was spent to avoid him going to jail it's a normal thing to Kubana chief priest had the same issues as that of Brobriski according to them. So Kubana chief priest opt for the 10 million bail instead of going to jail, right? This is cool. But this one, you did not pay the fine. You were convicted. You are supposed to go to prison for God's sake. You didn't go to prison. And the whole thing is out here and people are distracting the activist guy, fighting him. They want him to be taken off this world and so i begin to wonder what kind of people are my people is are these people you would love to respect have nigerians uh, ever been good people before do they have sense you want to ask all these questions for me in my humble opinion i think my people have always been like this daft desperate copycats no thinking faculty nothing i don't know if it's the schools we have back at home that is responsible for this because when you see a well-behaved nigerian well-behaved mm, 
maybe that Nigerian is from a rich home where the parents were able to acquire education for you, were able to help you get good education maybe abroad or within the country, international schools that have people from other race and culture and coming to established schools in Nigeria. So these people take their kids there, there for character modification to train them to be the Nigerians that you see and you feel like, wow, this one is exceptional. <laughs> How can you go to a public school in Nigeria and think you are going to be all right? Like, how does it work? And the first thing, the annoying thing is the first thing, once you have an argument with a Nigerian, the first thing that comes up is, do you know who I am? I went to this, I went to this, I have a this, I have a degree in this, I have a degree. <laughs> And then you begin to ask them, with this your degree, what can you bring to the table? Do you have anything there? Knock, knock, knock. Is there anything that you can bring to the table? Do you have sense? I mean, at least the commonest one. Do you have it? Zero. They don't. So you begin to wonder, so how do you now get respected when there is nothing to you? There's nothing about you. Who respects you? I have been doing videos here and for Nigerians to see, sit down and say, you are doing that Ghana versus Nigeria. Lily Ogini does videos of Ghana versus Nigeria. Then it tells you that my people, some of them, not in the inside, they don't have sense. You don't know the difference between comparison and when someone is doing more of criticism i am doing more of criticism when it comes to nigeria yeah i criticize a lot more than i compare let's say compared or i try to define the difference between Ghanaian men and nigerian men and also the women and how women are being treated in nigeria versus how they are being treated in ghana i have not really done a detailed video but i'm going to do it very soon i will do that be ready for that but anyways who am i it's all double standard a nigerian will condemn what you are doing right now criticize it and recruit other people to hate on you try to make it look like you have you have done something bad then they accuse you of doing it for the money and then the next day you see them doing the same thing you are doing i turned down some brands not entirely forever i'm still thinking about it my freedom versus looking good in the eyes of people thinking i'm a good person making the money just living life and i'm minding my business i'm not giving my opinion i don't think it's my calling <laughs> it's not my calling so i want a situation where when i see videos like this man's video i can't say something i don't want it so any brand that wouldn't allow me to express myself that will come and advise me oh we don't want this we don't it's not for me basically not for me so this man said nigerians are the most respected in the world how do you how what is respect people are banning you from they, they don't want people are banning you from coming to their countries they don't want you in their country africans don't want you in their country so what is respect for me i feel like if you respect somebody you want to be with them you love them you welcome them you trust them at least trust them for me right now there are so many things i cannot do on the internet because i'm nigerian as a nigerian there are so many things for example go fund me do you know that go fund me does not work in nigeria so is that respect but it works in other african countries it's not working in ghana because a lot of the people you see a lot of the your scammers back home they are in ghana they live and work and do their scamming things and when they want to track them they track them down it goes to ghana if it's a long topic um, I wouldn't be talking about that in this video. I don't know if you are in agreement with this man that Nigerians are the most respected people in. I don't understand. How do you mean respected? Where I live right now, a lot of people try to avoid this place because it is known to have a lot of Nigerians living there. A lot of people don't want to really come close to you because you're Nigerian. A lot of people don't want to do business with you because you're Nigerian. A lot of the time, like you struggle, you have to prove yourself so what is respect what is this man saying well anyways in Nigeria let me break it down for you for better understanding if you have money 
if you can make money any ways possible any means that it takes you to make just make that money because nigerians don't ask you where you make it, get your money from they just see you with money they start to worship you and that is respect to them they don't care how you make your money just ah you don't hammer even when you tell a nigerian that okay see this is where i made my money from the devil gave it to me and in turn the devil is going to take my life a nigerian will still at least a good percentage of nigerian will still want to do it they want to also give they want to give their life to that devil so they can take because we have seen series of cases of yellow boys who on a life girls especially for money and then later come back to confess some of them raw mats we see all these videos but you see see people still you see new ones younger you see people wanting to still go there as we speak a lot of nigerians are working to go to south africa even the illegal way so do you tell me do you respect someone like that what nigerians mean by respect is you having money and having everybody call you sir 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 ma 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 because when they want something from you they'll call you all day with those names ma sir boss yay boss i can keep for you i can do this for you that is not respect my brother let me school you i understand i know from the way you talk i already know when i see grown nigerians like this that think they're smart they think they are oh they think they are respected it kind of break my heart anyways that is the video so please the comment section is yours what do you what is respect because right now i am i want to i'm, I'm going to make another video okay maybe a follow-up video analyzing some things of um my life in ghana the struggles trying to rent and all of these things and the immigration stress that we face here the problem is we don't really know what respect is and this is why most of the time they, they look down on other african countries because those ones are humble because your your environments normally being educated is supposed to make you humble and calm kind and patient and not rash but that is the opposite in my own country being educated in my country means you have to the only way you prove to people that you are educated is by being arrogant because if you're humble you are timid it's okay it's because you didn't go to school from a poor family see my my country is a complicated place so i don't know if you agree with him do you think we are the most respected people in the world or we are not for me i think we are not and also what do you think about the last video is it that nigerians are shook by the success stories coming out from ghana because to me it's giving that she's like okay oh ghana see us do we have an airport i mean that airport in case i forgot to tell you is not in nigeria and <laughs> sorry to say it can never be because the people who can't think who can no innovation no nothing how are we going to how are we going to grow when we don't think on youtube here you can see a lot of nigerians on youtube are doing content and when you go around you realize that we are all doing the same thing you just a very few a handful of them that are unique otherwise you see all of us doing the same thing so does that give you a signal of people that think outside the box i think what bro is trying to say is that nigerians think we are smart like he thinks he thinks people respect us yeah for me i don't think we are the most respected in africa <laughs> I don't think so yeah in fact i doubt that not like i don't think so. in fact we are not i'm done with this video i'll see you guys in another one the comment section is open okay to do